Okay, so this is my follow-up video, uh, the quick review on Duncan McLeod. Uh, this will not be an in-depth review of all the cards for Duncan. Uh, I feel that half of the fun of playing Highlander the Card Game 2nd Edition is uh, discovering all the awesome cards out there and the little nifty combinations. Um, but just to give you a quick glimpse of Duncan, uh, here's his uh, back of his Persona card, which... The first thing that hits you right away is that all of his stats on his card are even. Uh, all at 15 cards each. That makes him very adaptable, very versatile. It also gives your opponent a hard time during attribute challenges. Uh, the Clan McLeod pregame card is definitely recommended if you're looking at getting started with Duncan. Uh, you can get it from Baker's website as a single. And that will give you a nice boost to your character. Uh, Duncan's huge ability is the fact that he can discard an empathy egg in order to block an unblockable attack using a basic block. Uh, that being key. So you want to definitely make sure you have at least one full set of basic blocks, if not two. Uh, as far as going for the defensive, uh, to make sure that you're able to utilize that ability. Uh, the other half of his power is the ability to increase or decrease the size of your heart exertions if you, uh, for each ally that you have in play. The nice part is that Duncan comes with his own allotment of uh, allies, uh, so he has no shortage. Everything from Darius, Connor McLeod, Richie Ryan, Tessa, Hugh Fitzcairn, Charlie, and Lindsay, Mythos, Kate, uh, just to name a few. So, and each of them has their own little abilities that uh, also help him uh, as he's going about in the game, so to speak. Um, I threw in the uh, Dragon Head Hilt there on the right-hand side, just so that you can see uh, his what his Hilt does with the Katana, which is his favorite weapon. Uh, it, it allows his... Uh, basically his uh, non-special attacks that cover more than one grid to do an additional point of damage. That's fairly huge for him, especially since the katana has slashes in it and he himself has uh, his own personal slash. Uh, so that's uh, a basic overview of the persona himself and uh, some of the key cards for him. Um, so... The next stage is just to show you his master cards. That's kind of uh, one of the nice part about Duncan. Uh, here we have his Master's Dodge, which is a very nice card. Uh, master's Attack, which covers the whole grid. Uh, master's Block, which is very useful in almost any deck for Duncan. Uh, these cards will allow you to... Um, Give your opponent a hard time. Uh, the Master's Block and Master's Dodge will allow you to defend very effectively, uh, and the Master's Attack will allow you to be a pain to your opponent. Um, and Duncan having six Master Cards that he can be allowed in his deck, he does have enough Master Cards that can kind of make it a tough choice as to what cards you want to include in there. But um, I would have to say his most powerful Master Cards are these two beauties right here. Uh, he has a Master's Persistence, which allows you to reshuffle your deck, uh, and you remove this card from the game. Uh, this combined with the Nexus card, which is pretty much a must-have for anyone playing the game right now, um, makes it very hard for Duncan to burn through his deck. The Master's Headshot, it's a red grid attack, so you can go ahead and exert for the attack. If you need a, a prayer and a hope to hopefully win a game, you might pull it out of the exertion, and it if you haven't played a special, it is an auto headshot. So, both very nice cards. I would say his his top master cards uh, at this point in time. Uh, those are definitely some to get a hold of uh, and to strive for. Uh, he has some nice cards, um, nice spread of other cards. Uh, here's his Killer Precision. Uh, he has his own slash, as I mentioned, and a prime block. Uh, these are just a few of the basic uh, cards for him that uh, give him a nice boost. Uh, each of them having their own abilities. Uh, the killer precision being unblockable and undodgeable. It's restricted to one, but the nice trick is you can have a pregame Darius to raise that restriction number to two and include two of them in your deck. At three damage each, that's really nice. So... Uh, those are some of his other gridded cards, which will definitely help. 
Duncan is not a slouch on defense either. Uh, just look at these cards. He has a duck. He has a jump. He has two counters, one for each side. Uh, on top of that, he has a dodge, and he has a back away. So just looking at all of those different defenses, uh, he's going to give you a very wide assortment of dodges in order to avoid your opponent's attacks, uh, making him very good on the defensive. Um, if you want to get started in the game, I would definitely recommend Duncan for a starting person, uh, at least on a basic level, defensively speaking, because he is going to give you the, the security that you're not going to get your head taken right off the bat. Um, he also has some very nice handy edge cards. Meditation is kind of a, a fun one just to have in there in case you need to mix things up and hopefully give yourself a second chance. Uh, the hand-to-hand -hand cards are nice. Uh, those they have to be played with a, a basic attack and a basic block, respectively, but those will allow you to attack and block, uh, even if disarmed. Uh, so they are martial arts cards, uh, making it very nice for Duncan to deal with a deck that might disarm you right off the bat. Um, the Faint Edge is huge because then you can take those basic blocks that we mentioned earlier that you're going to have in your deck, and this will add one additional adjacent grid spot on the grid for those basic blocks. So it, it allows you to then start defending more complex attacks, uh, making him very versatile. Um, that's pretty much it for reviewing cards. Uh, I mean, he's got a ton... I mean, I could probably make a 20-minute segment just covering all the different cards he has. So I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, I just wanted to give you a basic highlight of Duncan McLeod and let you know um, what all he has available to him. Uh, with that in mind, uh, Duncan is a very good persona to uh, to play with in, in Highlander, the card game 2nd edition. Um so just to give you a quick rundown, um, Duncan McLeod is a solid persona to play the game with. Um, on the good side, he's balanced, uh, great against attribute challenges. Um, so in those situations, it makes it very hard for your opponent to guess how you've built your deck. Maybe if it's the second or third time around that they've played you, that's not going to be so huge because they might have figured out what you're stacking on, whether it's strength or agility or whatever the case. Um, but balanced stats make him very powerful. Uh, second thing to note on the uh, good side is his versatility, uh, both in Master Cards and all other cards, uh, especially in the middle of the game. If you put some of those key cards in there, like the Faint, uh, like the Hand to Hands, um, a lot of his allies have special little nifty abilities that will help you in the middle of the game against strategies that you, you know, may not have even planned for. Um, so he's got a lot of versatility that lets you mix things up and do things in the middle of the game on the fly that may throw your opponent off balance and hopefully give you the win. So. Um, the third point on the good side is uh, that he he does have a lot of cards to choose from. Uh, so if you're you know starting out and you don't have much to invest, you could probably get at least a small sampling of his commons and uncommons to to get you going and get started. And you should still be competitive, uh, based on my opinion. Uh, on the bad side for Duncan, uh, perhaps that can also be the bad thing. Uh, he may have too many cards. Uh, especially for newbies, he's going to be a huge investment, um, especially if you want to make sure you have all the cards for Duncan. I think it took me quite a while to collect all of the Duncan cards that I have, and I think I'm still missing a couple, but for my purposes and the way I like to play Duncan, I have everything that I feel that I need at this point in time. Um, another bad thing is that he is weak against cheese, um, which leads me to um, my grading system. Uh, I do have a grading system uh, for Immortals that I'm going to be using. Uh, it's going to cover the four main strategies that you're going to run into in tournament play. Uh, the first one is being unblockable and undodgeable attacks. Duncan gets da 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 an A minus. Uh, 
with his built-in ability, he's pretty much able to handle those unblockable, undodgeable type situations because he can drop an empathy egg in order to stop those. Um, as far as a disarm strategy, which is the next one on the list for the report card, um, Duncan gets a B on that one. Uh, disarm strategies basically take your weapon away, making it very difficult for you to block or attack. You're then left dodging. He's okay on the dodge aspect because he's pl got plenty of dodges in there, but if your opponent starts restricting your dodges via locations or other things of that nature, you're going to find yourself hard-pressed to defend against a, a disarm deck. But if you include some of those hand-to-hands in there, uh, along with the master's dodge, that you're going to be able to pull off some nice combos that will definitely help. That's why I gave him a B rating on that, so he can still stand up against them if need be. Um, burn, uh, which is the next strategy that you you may see in tournament play, where basically they just try to burn cards off the top of your deck, make you burn out and lose five ability. Um, in a burn type scenario, I give Duncan an A+. If you're carrying a Nexus card, which is nearly a must-have for any tournament level, deck uh, along with his master's persistence which should be in any deck for Duncan especially a lean and mean type tournament uh, he gets an A plus rating in that uh, it's very hard to burn Duncan out of cards along with uh, cards like uh, Connor McLeod that prevents if you have that ally in play your opponent you can basically cancel discard effects that force you to discard out of your hand and if you have the Richie Ryan Immortal Ally in play, uh, he cancels all burn effects that affect your deck. So, uh, with that in mind, uh, Duncan gets an A plus against burn uh, decks. Uh, the last and last major strategy that you're going to see in tournaments is cheese. Uh, that's direct damage decks. So, with direct damage decks, uh, Duncan just based on Duncan himself, uh, not taking any. Clan McLeod cards or anything of that nature into effect or into account, he gets an F against Cheese. That is right off the bat his main weakness. Uh, obviously, there are cards you can supplement, generic cards, things of that nature that will help you counteract uh, direct damage. But just based on the persona himself and his set of cards, he gets an F rating on that. So take that uh, as you will. Um, so we've covered the good aspects of Duncan, the bad aspects of Duncan, uh, and the awesome aspect of Duncan is he is a member of the Clan McLeod. Uh, they, ha in their wisdom, the developers of the game have put out a Clan, a clan McLeod grouping of cards that can be used by any of the McLeods: Duncan McLeod, Connor McLeod, Colin McLeod. Um, so it gives you the ability to. Uh, supplement in some very nice cards uh, that will help your McLeod Personas win and honestly some some pretty hideous combos so I definitely recommend uh, Duncan for a starting player if you want to just kind of get acquainted with it and and have have kind of that tutorial feel where you are not too worried about getting murdered because you have a decent defense uh, for not that huge of an investment um, Duncan does grow with you as a player, so if you decide you want to become advanced, get those advanced strategies, get all the cards for Duncan, and take the collector's aspect on and try to get all the cards for Duncan, he will grow with you. So it's it's good for a newbie, good for an experienced player, if you want to go deep with that investment. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. Uh, Duncan is a very straightforward immortal. Uh, I've always enjoyed playing decks with him. And we look forward to uh, maybe doing a review f here in the near future on those Clinton McLeod cards. Uh, otherwise, uh, you have a good night.